continue with product stoppings. We continue with product and market orientation. We said product orientation simply means we focus on the product. They are looking for buyers. That is product orientation. But for market orientation, the focus is on the product itself, or on the people, on the customers, on the market research before we make the product available. So either ways, to use product orientation or market orientation, there are factors that determine which one is applicable or ideal for a business. So what I'm saying is, either you want to use product orientation or market orientation, there are some factors you have to put into consideration as a business before you decide which to use. So the first one is the nature of the product. We talk about the nature of the product I wrote. Products which, which continuously need innovation, such as technology, electronics, we definitely need to search. There are some products they continuously need innovation. That means yes. well, innovation. You have to make them new every now and then. You have to continue to find the latest for them. People would want or demand for latest. That is what innovation is about. So you continue to make improvement on those products. So such products, you would need a market research on that. Do you get the point here? Products like phones, electronics, technology, people want them to become faster and better. I can't get you. Yeah, that's a business. They don't produce, they don't produce, they sell. We're talking about businesses that produce. So if the kind of business you do involves electronics, like you produce electronics, pharmaceutical, you produce medicines. These kind of products need research. So these are market orientation. Do you understand now? Yes. Products with continuous innovation would need research. Not like grocery. We know everybody would buy. So there's no research about those ones. They are natural. But when it comes to innovation, we want the latest. So the world is becoming, it's a global village. And whatever electronics, gadget, electronic gadgets we use are becoming smaller with more technicality. Yes or no? So these are research. We need research for these things. That's the first point. The second one, policy decision. When we talk about policy decision, we're talking about the objectives of the business itself. So if the objective of the business is, is about technicality, it means you need to focus on the product. If the objective of the business is to increase market share, it means, it means you need to understand or you find things about the customers, about market uh, research. So what I'm saying is this. The policy decision, this is based on the business itself, its objectives. So what are your objectives? If your objective is about technicality, you want to produce products with technicality, then you, put, you focus on product orientation. Or if your objective is to sell more than those of your competitors, then you need to understand how the market works. Our customer's behavior, you need to identify it. Do we understand or not? The policy is about the objective of the business. If the objective of the business is to produce products with more technicality, then you don't need to find customers. You just have to put focus or put effort in producing the product. Then the customers will come. That is your objective. But if your objective is to increase market share, to increase market share means you have to get more customers than those of your competitors. To do that, you need to make market research. Do we understand the second point about policy decision? Yes. Policy decision is about the owners of the business, their objectives. If your objective is market, to increase your market share, it means you want to increase more, you want to get more customers. To get more customers means low co less customers for your competitors. Because all the customers are on earth, not in the, in the heaven. So if to get customers here, it means some of your competitors are losing their customers. For them to lose their customers, it means you are able to convince them to start buying from you. So that means you need market orientation. <coughs> and we understand market orientation here, policy decisions. Then the third one, the view of those in control. The directors of the business, not the owners now, the directors of the business, the managers, they have different career paths. Some managers are engineers, they have engineering background. Some managers, some directors are accountants. Their background is accounting. So they're going to have different views, different orientation about market or product. If the director of the business is an engineer, an engineer will focus on technicality, yes or no? So an engineer will think more of product orientation, while an accountant who deals with figure will, deal, will think more of market orientation. 
Do you understand the third point here? The views of those in charge, the views of the directors, the managers, the background, their background, where they are coming from. Accountants will think about figures, money, so they want more customers. Engineers will think about technicality. They want the product to be sound. Do we get it? So if an engineer runs a company, the engineer will think more of technicality, which is product orientation. If an accountant runs the company, he or she will think more of market orientation because he or she needs figures. Do we get it, please? And the third one, or second to the last one, the degree of competition, the kind of market we are in. So if the market, no. If the market, if the market we are in is fair, that means there's high competition in the market, we need to find more customers. We need to have edge over our competitors. Then we think about market orientation. Please be here. We talk about market. The one I'm talking about is the degree of competition. For the degree of competition, what we're saying is this. If the market is highly competitive, you need more customers to yourself. So what are you supposed to use? Market orientation. But if there's less competition in the market, then there's no focus on the market research. You focus on the products. Note, in economics we talked about consumer assumptions and supply or producers. For producers, they think more of quality. Uh, they think about finding a product or a supplier that gives them more quality if the price is the same. So same goes here. When the market is not highly competitive, it means there are few competitors on the market. Consumers will have limited choice to make. The only choice they make is products that give them better quality. Because in that market, it's likely they sell with competitive pricing. Get my point here. If the market is highly competitive, businesses will think more of market research because they don't want to produce products that will be unsold. They want to produce products based on customer specification. That is the only way they can hold on to their customers. That is the point here. Market orientation leads to competitiveness. If there's competitiveness in the market, if the competition is fierce in the market, businesses will focus on market orientation. But if there's less competition in the market, businesses will focus on product orientation because they just want to find out, they want customers to buy from their products, products that are sound, that are technical, that are technical. So that's why the market with less competition always allows businesses to focus, to focus less on market research. Why in the competitive market, it's more important to produce good customers to be able to buy. So in the competitive market, for you to have customers, you need to do market research to identify, to design products based on their specification. Is it clear? Is it clear, please? Is it clear, please? And the last one, the nature and size of the market. If the costs of production are high in a specific market, businesses are likely to focus on market research so that they won't produce unsold goods. If the market allows, uh, if, the, if the cost of producing in the market is high, it means you have to be efficient as a business. So for you to be efficient, you have to make decisions about what you produce. If you produce more, nobody is going to buy. So you don't produce goods that are going to be unsold. So you don't waste resources because the cost of producing in that market is high. The point is, the point about the nature and size of the market is based on the cost of production in that market. The cost of production in that market might be high because there are few suppliers in the market. That's about size. If you have few suppliers in the market, the cost of production will be high because you, you don't have more resources to yourself, you don't have choices. So a market that has high cost of production is likely to do market orientation because that market orientation allows it to produce goods that will be sold, not goods that will be unsold. Do we get it or not? Am I too fast? I'm just going to quickly do the recap. These are the factors that determine if we're going to use market or product orientation. The first one is about the nature of the product. How technical is a product? If the product needs more innovation, that means you continuously have to do innovation, you continuously have to do research. But if the product doesn't need technicality or innovation, then you can produce using, uh, without market, or without market orientation, you can produce with product technicality. The second one is policy decision. When we talk about policy decision, we're talking about the objectives of the owners of the business. What is their objective? Do they want market share or do they want more technicality? If they want to increase their market share, it means they have to go with market orientation. 
If they want technicality, then they have to use product orientation. The third one, the views of those in charge, the director's view, the manager's view. What are their background? Are they accountants or are they engineers? If they are engineers, they will think more of technicality. If they are accountants, they will think more about figures, market orientation. The next one, the degree of competition. If the market is having more competitors, it is important for businesses to use market orientation so that to understand the needs and wants of customers, to be able to have those customers to themselves. But if the market is, is less competitive, it means you don't have to do market research. Then you can focus on product orientation. The nature and the size of the market. The nature and the size of the market is simply talking about the cost of production in the market. If the, if the suppliers of the market are few, then it means the cost of production will be high. If few suppliers are in the market, businesses will have high cost of production. And if they, high, if they have high cost of production, it is important for them to produce goods that will be sold, not the goods that will be unsold. Because if they, they produce goods that are unsold, it means they are wasting resources. So if the size of the market, if the size of suppliers are less, a, a business must ensure that its cost of production is in line with its revenue. It was not produced, it was not waste. It should be more efficient. And to be more efficient, you have to do market orientation. Are they